Hi crypto fans, welcome back here with more news on the Bitcoin. Today we're looking into the more information and what do we have prepared for this one. Let's discuss. Today's price is continuously dropping and after the consolidation of the 43,000, we are back to 42,000. We've dropped down again. It is the third time we're dropping, but before we were even lower, we were at the lowest of $40,500. And right now we're at 42,000 looking for another big drop because the trade volume is low and it means that the drop might continue and we might get back to the like forty thousand dollars again and grow up in a trading volume up to 25 billion dollars while we are the 20 billion right now so we might see i mean uh, yeah billions uh, so we might see five billions of dollars of sales in a short period of time after this small consolidation for a couple of hours but let's go on the news side what do we have here first of all hmm i wonder what's going to happen after bitcoin passes the dotted orange line and we might expect a massive growth continue the one we had before and before and before and before so this is the apple 5 and we're expecting it pretty soon bitcoin continues to look weak but we still have a cme gap to fill uh, the above 44k and we're going there anytime soon let's see if it actually happens and can we expect that News, uh, Saka Missioner has to appear on spot Bitcoin ETFs and we should have approved one of these over five years ago. So the fact that we have not done it yet is a mystery to me. If Bitcoiners are rightly called Bitcoin Maxis, then Bitcoiners, Weers and uh, Bitcashers uh, should be called White Paper Maxis. This group of White Paper Maxis believe that Bitcoin was meant to be a day-to-day -day medium of exchange. And evidence they point to most often is the title of their White Paper. Bitcoin appeared to peer electronic cash system, however, they ignore everything else that Satoshi did. They don't ask the simple questions like, if Satoshi meant for Bitcoin, Bitcoin to be a medium of exchange, then why did he cap the supply of coins to $21 million? That's clearly not something you do not optimize payment velocity. Clearly, clearly that incentivize people to hold it and not to spend it. Maybe they think Satoshi was dumb, that he didn't know what he was doing. Maybe they think they know better than Satoshi. If Satoshi meant for Bitcoin to become a medium of exchange, why propose 10 minute blocks? Does it lend itself to a rapid scalable medium of exchange? Obviously not. So why would he release the code if the wake of the great financial crisis of 2000 2008. Why would he include in the Genesis block a chancellor of the brink of second bailout for banks? Is it because a scalable payment system would have solved the problem? Of course not. Clearly he is ins insinuating that a form of hard money that no government could make more of would uh, have solved the problem. It would have prevented anyone from printing more money to bail out greedy bankers at the expense of the plebs. Finally, Satoshi spent years writing the code for Bitcoin and he might have spent a week writing the white paper and maybe five minutes coming up with a title for the white paper. So, the white paper didn't even include the block times, the block limit or the supply cap. Clearly, the paper was a marketing document because critical aspects of Bitcoin weren't even included within it. To me, it makes no sense to bet the farm on the title of an incomplete white paper. Pay attention to the work that Satoshi did. Bitcoin was very obviously meant to be a digital gold. Satoshi knew exactly what he was doing. A breaking news, the SEC has denied Coinbase's request for a new digital asset regulation starting current existing uh, laws and regulations already applied to the crypto securities markets. Most people think the Bitcoin price must be gradually increased over time. This is because the world is set up in a such a controlled way that as the demand increase, supply can be manipulated to make sure it moves the correct amount to not shock the market. Bitcoin is the first truly finite asset humanity have ever seen and thus can price you out in a blink of an eye as it truly responds to demand and supply. And demand is probably about the 10x in January while the supply house in April. Please get to one Bitcoin.
still don't feel similar to you and I guess it's similar to me. It is probably going to be the same, we're probably going to see a decrease after all and then the massive explosion as the new bull run will start. That's what we should expect. First of all, we're going down, then we are actually going up a little bit, then we're probably consolidating and dropping and then the massive explosion happens in its year 2025. Breaking Samson Ma and Serbia's Prince Philip met with Montenegro's Prime Minister Miloško Spadić to explore the potential of Bitcoin Hydro bonds and the establishment of a Bitcoin community as similar to Bitcoin Beach in Montenegro. Bitcoin bloodbath is coming and we can expect it in a short minutes, short days, I would expect it in a short weeks. As Bitcoin consolidating after 8 weeks of upward momentum is a natural pattern and upwards momentum is most likely already done or close to done. Before the ETF launch, rally to 48 to 50k seems likely after that long period of consolidation we had. Bitcoin real bull run starts past halving and first of all we need to go back a little bit for us to actually get prepared for something big to buy more coins and then see the explosion coming in a short period of time as we'll see 200,000, 300,000 and might even see more on the price of a Bitcoin. A nice way to explain to newbies what Bitcoin mining is. Basically, the entire world is competing to gas a number to win the right to publish the next block of transactions and one of those transactions in that winning block is a Bitcoin reward to themselves. Once someone wins, they publish it to the world network and all the miners recognizing they lost shift their attention to winning the next block instead and on it goes TikTok like clockwork. More details if interested is sparked. And wait if it's a competition, why not just make as many gases as you can as fast as you can and use a computer? And won't that mean people just consume a lot of energy to earn the Bitcoin? And won't that mean super cheap energy or unused energy going to waste will move towards a fair price and expensive energy production will be disincentivized? It is a pure waste to spend $2 million per hour and enforces centralization. This is a complete nonsense for me, but you write in the comments what do you actually think. We also got news that Binance is on the sex radar and here's why Ripple and Cardano investors should care about it. As this week the crypto world has been quite a ride, especially for Bitcoin which has bounced back big time, now trading close to 43k to 42k at the same moment right now. Altcoins are having their moments too with Cardano, Ripple and other coins running up on the sleeves. So. What we actually can expect from the SEC, a SEC continues to fight Coinbase, XRP, Binance, Cardano and all of those coins. Even if Binance paid four to five thousand uh, dollars, or I mean four, four to five billion dollars, uh, and uh, still SEC tries to attack them. How can it affect Bitcoin? How can it affect XRP and other coins? Is the fight still continues? And if actually XRP wins this fight, it will be a big moment for everyone, for every single cryptocurrency and especially Bitcoin as well as the gold of the cryptocurrency market. That's all I got for today's video. See you in the next one and peace.